Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So it definitely looks like 2023 is the year of the breakup. Like, seriously, this is like. I don't know, like the 10th celebrity relationship that has just gone kaput. Anyways, if you guys do not know or, you know, don't care, uh, Tamar, her boo, remember she found that white man, uh, JR, honey. Uh, she met him on Queens Court and they fell in love. He eventually proposed to her. That was her fiance. And they were doing all these couple goal, you know, TikTok videos, Instagram videos together. And everybody thought, you know, this was the one. We saw her end up divorcing Vince, who she was married to for years. Then she got with the Nigerian guy she put that on reality television and that ended up not working out so we were rooting for tamar we wanted tamar and jr to work out if you guys don't know jr is an attorney um you know he has a lot of kids he has about five kids i think like four baby mamas or something like that so he came with a lot of his own baggage which you know i felt like mm, you know, that's a lot of kids a lot of baby mamas but you know if she's with it i'm with it so I guess now he's not with it. So let me go ahead and play you guys this news clip about their breakup. I'm also going to read to you guys what he had to say before I play the news clip. So this was on Monday, October 2nd. He took to social media and he says, I want to answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to, to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why, that's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized. No, I never cared about fame. Who reveals their most embarrassing moment in their life to find fame? I've always represented famous people and the truth is, I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. I turned down the Queen's Court several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love and it did not end how I wanted it. So I want to heal. Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. So that is what he came out and stated. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this news clip. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I love you, Tamar. Tamar, will you, will you marry me? Tamar Braxton and J.R. Robinson calling it quits nearly a year after getting engaged on Queen's Court. Something told me to trust the process and I've never done anything like this before. And what's the worst that can happen? I find love. J.R. revealing on Instagram that he and Tamar are no longer together and that he, quote, ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. Clearly, Jeremy and I have a real strong connection. I felt like I hit the lottery <laughs> when I met you, and so I got you the chance at one billion dollars. Tamar met JR on the Peacock dating reality series last year. You're making me the happiest man in the whole world. Oh, I'm crazy about you, Jamie. I'm so happy to hear that. And that love turned into a proposal. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your husband. <laughs> Tamar. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm here forever because I don't see my life without you. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. So it looks like as of today, Tamar Braxton is speaking out about the breakup. Um, she's talking about her mental health and everything else. But if you guys do not know, um, a lot of people have suspected something was going on as recently as September 30th because the last tweet that Tamar posted said this, when people are calculated and mean, the Lord will surely deal with you. So she posted that and a lot of people are saying was that towards JR. So let me go ahead and play Tamar's video talking about the breakup. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Really grateful. Um, I have done a lot to work on my mental health and change who I used to be into who I am now. And um, I can't help if people fall into that. 
All right, child. Y'all just heard what Tamar had to say. She's using a lot of devil references. Um, I hope you're not saying that because JR is white. I hope you're not trying to insinuate that he's a white devil because he wasn't a white devil when you was, you know what I'm saying? He was getting that pink peen, okay? So let's not, you know, go there with the constant devil references. But, you know, what I do find interesting about their relationship, I don't think they were as equally yoked as she thought. Um, you know, Tamar likes to revel in her religion and, and talk about, you know, Jesus and God all the time. And he seemed really uncomfortable from some of the videos that I saw on TikTok. He seemed like he wasn't really about the Jesus life. You know, maybe I'm reading too hard into it, but it seemed like they were on two different wavelengths. Y'all go ahead and check out this video right here. Go on. That's fair. Yeah, because God is real. He's not playing. He don't play about certain people. And I don't, I don't know how this whole this whole Because I'm going to tell you church. right here, right now, God we, don't play we, about we, me. We, He's we, taking we, real parts so you play up in my face like that. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. But baby, it's coming around. And when that table turns, it mm. is with spikes and stones. Because he don't play that. He don't like that. So we're going to bring this back to something because fun. Because God look at your heart. And that's what something the Bible fun. Says. I appreciate all the God and all the church that we go on. Hey, good morning, y'all. So I am um, rededicating my life to thinking positively. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I was on this spiritual journey to build up this positive force field. What does that look like? What do you mean, JR? Well, it was to live, breathe, respond, and mentally and physically be positive. And there were two things that really helped me um, get to a very positive place. Um, because we, I think we all know that once you involve yourself in negativity, it's like this constant cycle. And so I'm rededicating myself to some things that really, really helped me. And I think um, helped my growth and my maturation process. Build a positive energy force field that would protect me from all attacks, from all drama, from all negativity. First thing is, do not give words power. When people say things about you or people try to attack you, they're just looking for a response. And most times they don't know anything about you. They don't know your history. They don't know the trauma, the drama, all the things that you've been through in your life. They just know big picture about you. They may also only know who you used to be and maybe not what you've rededicated your life to. Uh, and so mentally, you have the opportunity to just be tone deaf to words that aren't positive. You know, I think uh, back in the day, people used to say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Well, that's true. Words don't have to hurt you if you don't give them power. The second thing is to always think positively in any situation, even in, in very difficult situations or conflict uh, situations. I'm not saying to live in a fantasy world where everything is all hunky dory, but if you think of the most positive outcome, then you'll constantly be surrounded. I'll give you an example. I got into a car accident maybe about a week or two ago, and this guy was coming to hit me dead on. My immediate thought was, what the F is this guy thinking? As opposed to, Lord, thank you for protecting me, for covering me. This could have been much worse. I, I challenge you in any situation where conflict arises or a negative situation happens to think of the positive outcome because it could be worse. And when you start to train yourself to think more positive, you start to see more positive results. You start to see more positive people around you. Then you start manifesting positive energy to people who may need it. All right, so you guys just saw the videos and you guys just saw JR's most recent video that he posted on TikTok as well. You know, now addressing his spiritual journey and how he wants peace and everything else. So it looks like they just were not compatible. He didn't want to deal with Tamar's craziness and negative attitude. You know, we've all watched Tamar reality television, so... I can see how that can kind of be off-putting to deal with her in certain circumstances. But at the end of the day, we don't know what really goes on behind the scenes. This is why you got to protect your relationships at all times. You know, posting every little thing that you do on social media for attention and validation from strangers is a recipe for disaster. I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. Who was interested first? Who said I love you first? Who's more protective? 
Who cleans more? Who eats the most? So, yeah, I don't think that they need to post like their their ins and outs on social media. They should have just lived their life and just try to really get to know each other instead of putting on this whole relationship, couple goal, situationship on social media. So anyways, moving on to the next story, we got Cardi B and Kanye West. So this whole situation is insane. I don't know who keeps leaking all this old ass footage of Kanye West, but supposedly Kanye West was supposed to be doing some type of documentary and the documentary ended up being shelved back in 2018. And so in that documentary, not only is Kanye West uh, going in on Corey Gamble, which we all know, you know, he's never liked. He says that Corey Gamble is a CIA operative, but then he also goes in on Cardi B and says that, you know, she doesn't write her raps. She sounds ignorant and that basically, um, you know, she's an industry plant that was placed here to replace Nicki Minaj. So this entire situation is crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip of Kanye West really quick. That's a paranoid shit. Yes, Corey is CIA. Like, he didn't even have to say it. I know it. You fucking CIA. What are you talking about? Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, oh this is my, this is my job. Man. This is my, this is a lot. Uh, he's Illuminati. That's why, that's why, that's why fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She's just there to, like, sound as ignorant as possible. And just and then make songs like fuck him and they get some money. Yeah. You know, she was literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely. That they put her there. And now she doesn't know what to do. And she's just a fucking she has no idea what the fuck is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. There ain't no blessing from the fucking universe. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of Kanye West. So once this went viral, it was trending all over Twitter. It's still trending today. Um, Cardi B ended up posting an old uh, video clip of Jason Lee basically interviewing Kanye West on Hollywood Unlocked. And in that, he's basically praising Cardi B and saying that he was a supporter of her from the very beginning. And my cousins were saying, come by here yesterday, but I was finishing. You're working. I was finishing that verse for your girl, you know what I mean? Like, I always believed in her since, since she was on the show, period. I and so this was very confusing to people as to, you know, why would he be talking, you know, proudly about her on Hollywood Unlocked, but back in 2018, he was dragging her. And so, you know, even after she posted that clip, people kept dragging her, kept making fun of her, saying, you know, you're an industry plant and, you know, just kept picking at her and just talking mess. So of course, Cardi B popped off. She went in yesterday. Cardi B is trying really hard to keep a professional, but y'all are gonna mess around and invoke Belcalis, okay? Y'all don't want her to invoke Belcalis, okay? Because one thing I know about Belcalis outside of Cardi B is that Belcalis actually really does keep fucking receipts, okay? So y'all go ahead and watch this video of Cardi B trying to hold back and not spill all the tea. And to my haters and to y'all motherfuckers that wanna see mess, Leave me the fuck alone because I come with receipts. I come with receipts, years old receipts. I got receipts on all you niggas and you bitches. And I will fucking bring this internet into fucking shambles, bitch. You don't even fucking know. I will really, it will be crazy. So let me keep it cute. I have mature. Keep me there. Cause I will fucking, this shit will go down, bitch. I will land a motherfucking heli in this bitch. Facts. And I won't even just say it out of my mouth. I literally got real receipts with dates. So leave me alone. Cause y'all weren't, y'all not gonna be ready for that. Y'all not gonna be ready for nothing. Let me mind my business. Let me keep working. Let me be a mom. Let me keep putting music out. Don't, don't try to bring Belkalis out. Love Cardi B. Don't bring Belkalis. Leave me there. Okay? Okay. 
All right, honey. Y'all heard what Cardi B had to say. She is not playing. And, you know, I think she's at the point now where she's just frustrated. It's like everything she does, people got something to say. Folks are constantly picking at her. What was the point of this video even being released? It came out in 2018, right? It was shelved. It was, ne it was never supposed to see the light of day. Why even post this? Let's keep it real. In 2022, her, Little Dirk, and Kanye West, they all did a song together called Hot Shit. So obviously Kanye had to have liked her. He eventually did a song with her. And I think the main thing for her is that this is kind of hurtful because I know for a fact, like, she loves Kanye. She looks up to Kanye. And I remember when she was working on Hot Shit, she really was excited for this song, you know, to be able to do a track with Kanye West. That's a big deal. So then to see this video come out where he's, you know, talking shit about her, I'm sure, you know, she's hurt. And then you got the internet clowning her, saying she's an industry plant and, you know, she was here to replace Nicki. You know, all of that is silly. People have been saying that from the time this girl first got on the internet. And this is why, like I said, a lot of these fandoms make it where it's not fun. Like, it's never about the music. It's just always about the drama and picking a side. And, you know, you got to either like Cardi or Nicki. You can't like both. And it's just too much at this point. You know, even recently, Lotto was going off online because people were going in on Lotto and saying that, oh, she's nothing like Little Tay. Little Tay's doing better numbers than her. It's like, why do we always have to pick apart the rap girls? You know, let them do their thing. Let them make their music. Either you enjoy it and you listen to it or you don't. You know, but it's just like constantly they're getting picked on and harassed. And maybe Kanye West was in his manic episode. You know, who knows? But I know for a fact that you know, she's never had any issues with Kanye. They've always had a somewhat cordial relationship. So this is very odd to see him saying this. But then again, like I always say, a lot of people in the industry are fake as fuck. You know what I mean? That's why I pick and choose who I fool with in the industry because people will act like they like you and then behind their back, they're saying some other shit. So it's really unfortunate, but y'all leave that girl alone. Again, the whole situation is just messy. So anyways, y'all, I wanna know y'all's thoughts and opinions. Feel free to leave a comment down below. How do y'all feel about Tamar Braxton and JR breaking up? Are you guys surprised? Are you guys not surprised? Um, do you guys think they were a good fit in the first place? And then how do you guys feel about the drama that's currently going down with this old video of Kanye West going viral and people just, you know, harassing Cardi B about it to the point where Cardi B had to go off about the situation? So feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to also share the video. Make sure once again that you guys are still subscribed to this channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.